Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making these Mexican traditional cookies called marranitos, which means piggies. They are very similar to the gingerbread that we make around the holidays, except these we can enjoy them all year round. So let's gather up our ingredients and let's get started. Let's go over our ingredients really quick. We're going to need four cups of all-purpose flour, three eggs, a fourth of a cup of whole milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, one cup of molasses, one cup of dark brown sugar, two teaspoons of ground ginger, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon baking soda, and half a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature. We're gonna start out by creaming our butter Once it's nice and creamy, we're going to add in the vanilla. We're going to mix it in. And once it's well mixed, we're going to add in our milk. Once it's well mixed, we're going to add in the brown sugar. Once it's nice and creamy, we're going to add one egg at a time. We're only going to add two eggs. The third egg we're going to reserve to glaze the cookies. Now we're going to add in the molasses. And once we have the molasses well mixed in there with the other ingredients, we're going to set it aside. Now we're gonna mix the spices with the four cups of flour, the ground ginger, the baking soda, and the ground cinnamon, and we're gonna mix it really well. Now we're gonna add our wet ingredients. We're gonna add them a little bit at a time. I'm gonna add a third of the ingredients, and I'm gonna mix it really well. If you have a stand-up mixture, I suggest you use it for this part. But if you don't, mixing it with the spatula works just as well. Once the first part is well mixed, we're going to add another third of the wet ingredients. And we're going to keep mixing. And now we're going to add the last of the wet ingredients. If it gets too hard to mix with one spatula, I usually get another spoon and mix. Or you can mix with your hands, whichever works best for you, but usually it's a little bit too sticky to work with your hands, so I just use two spoons. And now that it's done, we're gonna retrieve our plastic wrap. I'm gonna cut a piece big enough to fit all the dough in, or you can do it in two separate bundles. We're gonna do it in one. And we're just gonna spoon out the dough, and just place it on top of the plastic, just like that. And as you can see, it is a little bit sticky, but once we refrigerate it, it's gonna be nice and firm. And now we're just gonna wrap it, just like a big burrito. And once I have it well wrapped, I'm gonna roll it around a little bit, just to get it nice and firm. And I'm gonna place a second cover of plastic wrap just to make sure it doesn't break. It probably won't break with just one, but I have kids going in and out of the refrigerator all day, so I just wanna make sure it doesn't break or anything. So now that it's well wrapped, we're gonna refrigerate it for at least four hours. It's been about four hours now, so now we're gonna remove the plastic. Our dough turned out so perfect. Look at that, it's nice and firm. Just what we want. So now we're just gonna remove the rest of the plastic. Make sure your working surface is nice and clean before you work your dough. Now we're just gonna roll it until it's nice and smooth and then we're gonna cut it into four equal pieces or as equal as you can. And we're gonna set the three aside and we're gonna work with the first piece and I'm gonna roll it around. Now I do have a little bit of flour handy just so we can flour our surface. That way when we're 
rolling it out with our rolling pin it doesn't stick I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit more and once we have a nice smooth ball of dough we're gonna add a little bit more flour to the surface before we start to roll it out that way it doesn't stick and then we're gonna roll with our rolling pin and you can make these as thick or as thin as you like them just make sure that you make them all around the same thickness so that way they can all cook evenly and once we have the desired size I'm gonna retrieve my cookie cutter and make our cookies Now we're going to add them to a non-stick cookie sheet like this one. I didn't add any butter or cooking spray to it. And now we're just going to continue to make the rest of the cookies until we fill the first cookie sheet. Now that we've filled up the first cookie sheet, we're gonna set it aside. In a small bowl, we're gonna take the last of the three eggs and we're gonna add it into the bowl and we're gonna scramble it. I like to use all the egg, but you can just use the yellow part of the egg to glaze your cookies. And now we're just gonna glaze the top of each cookie with the egg mixture. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and now we're just going to bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. And here is the end result. Enjoy them with a nice cup of milk or hot chocolate. With the amount of flour that we used, we ended up making a little bit over 20 cookies. Here I made some with glaze and some without the glaze so you could see the difference. Either way, they turned out delicious. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you another day for another recipe. Thank you so much for watching.